reading number seven. Welcome. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing any zodiac signs right now. Although I am channeling Gemini energy. Um, I don't really feel the zodiac signs are necessary right at this moment in time. So I'm not doing it. All right, all right, moving on. Always take what resonates, leave what doesn't. All right, here we go. <clears throat> I'm getting crossroads right now by Cypress Hill. From a soldier to a leader, we in boss mode. You take a hit of the one. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We got book. All right, I'm going to allow y'all to see these because they're awesome. There's the uh, Babadook and there's an orange ladybug that just landed on my windowsill. Wouldn't be surprised if it walks its little biting ass in here. Uh, next, we got grief, the pet cemetery. Third, we got friendship with American Werewolf in Paris. And then we've got nature with Hitchcock's The Birds. Okay, and then we got King Kong, Wonder of the World. Okay, down here we've got uh, The Deep with Jaws. We've got Hunger with Evil Dead 2. We've got Suspicion. Ooh, yeah. What's this one again? I haven't seen this movie. There it is. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Okay, and then we've got Obsession. And that is Phantom of the Opera. Okay. So. We're going to go through this and see... What the fuck is happening here? Okay. It seems like right away with the Babadook, I got um, somebody let something in. Okay. When they were sad. And you might have um, befriended something while being in a very lonely place in time. Like, like, you know, almost like you made a friend with something uh, because you were always alone. It's like I can see somebody... I can see somebody getting a demonic attachment, um, especially if you talk to yourself. Obviously, this thing heard you talking and it started to respond to you. And uh, you kind of open up the door to it thinking that it was your friend um, when it wasn't. So this seems to me like somebody has an imaginary friend, but they're not imaginary. And... The thing is, is with American Werewolf, um, one of them turns, right? And then turns the other one. So I feel like you became friends with this and then they attacked you. And the thing is, okay, so with this wonder of the world, with this King Kong energy, I almost feel like somebody is, um, like, 
I don't want to say this because it sounds so fucking stupid in my head, but I have to say it because it's real. I feel like somebody was of some type of wonderment. Okay. Like, um, somebody, I mean, King Kong, you know, King Kong, he's a wonderment. They, they take him from the Island and they put him on a fucking stage instantly. Right. So I feel like somebody, um, so this demon, I think, became friends with you. This attachment became friends with you because you were what they, it's, it's like they were going to make money off of you. Like, you know, kind of like the Truman Show, how he doesn't know that it's happening. And then once he realizes that it's happening, it's, it's almost like somebody has been like kind of paying to have you work for them in some dimension, but this, they're not paying you right? Like they're, they're getting paid for the work you're doing, but I don't necessarily think that, um, you're getting paid for any of the work. It's like, you might, especially if you're on like, well, like welfare, or if you're getting some type of disability, if you've gotten some type of, you got some type of check, it's almost like you can't work because this thing is making you work in other dimensions for it. And it's collecting your check for you. Okay. So, um, what? Okay. I feel like these ones in the bottom are like how you're going to be able to get out of this. Okay. So Jaws, you're going to need a bigger boat. See what I mean? Okay. Preparation is key. Your own preparation, most of all. So remember when they go out onto the orca? Okay. I don't know why I'm showing you the book, but you know, when they go out into the, on the, the orca, they're not prepared for this shark. Okay. They're, they're not prepared for it or they wouldn't have went out in that boat. Okay. Because Jaws started taking it apart, right? They weren't, they didn't know what they were up against. Okay. So I feel like experts and authorities can prove unreliability, especially when their stat, when their status, reputation, or self-regard factors into their actions. When made aware of a deeper problem lurking below our surface perceptions, the first instinct may be to seek help. Even so, it may be ultimately up to us to blow this thing out of the water. Literally, you know how they blow him up? OK, because I think that this friend that you picked up, OK, is in another dimension, which means they can't physically hurt you in this dimension. It was the same as Jaws, like Jaws is in the water. OK, you're in in the air. OK, you're breathing. It is a water monster. This thing is another dimensional monster. It's the Babadook. OK, it lives in a story, in a story and comes to life through the words that you read. OK, there could be something that you're reading or that you're indulging in and it's making things come alive in your life. OK, so let's get to hunger here with the evil dead, too. Oh, it's night of the living dead. OK, sorry. OK, they're coming to get you. Sometimes it may feel like everybody wants a piece of you. I want to say that again. Sometimes it may feel like everyone wants a piece of you. The appetites of others can limit your freedom, leading you to create personal barricades. But beware, a safe space can become as much of a trap as a refuge if you don't take heed to whom you let inside. If you don't take care of yourself, you can't, you can't take care of others. Okay. That's what I'm picking up on this. It's like, if you don't protect yourself, like you've let this thing in, but clearly you kick it out, but then it comes back in again. Right. So the universe is like, you have to protect yourself from the inside out. Watch what you read because you read something and it opened up a door. It opened up a portal to you. Okay, so now we're going to go to suspicion. Okay, invasion of the body snatchers. Oh my God, dude, I just fucking said it. See, it body snatched you. It came in and it took your body over. Okay, don't be trapped by old concepts. There are many times when we can feel like everything, those around us, even society at large, is changing at a disoriented pace. A cosmic disorder introduced to a way we thought life would always be. 
holding on to our individual perspective can be exhausting and the temptation to give in can be overwhelming. It is a new way of thinking really bad for just being new. Keep a weary eye on how things are evolving, which means it's almost like you didn't know that you evolved to this thing completely taking you over. Okay, I'm surprised we didn't get the exorcist out here, but clearly it's not... It's it, it it isn't dem I don't think it's demonic, but I think it's something that is very clearly unhealthy. Okay, because then we've got obsession. Okay, which is Phantom of the Opera. I've brought you here, five sellers underground, because I love you. He traps her underground, right? Passionate feelings can take can make us lose all perspective. Structuring a whole new life around something or someone can draw others into high drama that exists only in a gothic theater where constructed with an old mind. When we force others to play roles they would rather not explore, expect disaster. Perfect plans and chandelier high hopes crash the hardest. Dial it down. Hype usually leads to disappointment. So this thing is going to get massively deport. Um, I was going to say deported. So it's going to get massively disappointed and deported when you kick it out. Okay. Because I think it's been secretly hiding and it's been making somebody sad. Okay. So you'll know that if you've got this, if you have this type of attachment on you, if you feel very low, okay. Um, very, I mean, I want to say it's going to become self-destructive, you know, because you're going to start hurting people around you, um, by trying to make them live again. So it's like, you're, I don't know if it's something you're constantly reading that's opening up this book, but bury it, burn it, never see it again, because once you get it out of you, Okay, because this was a full blown attack on somebody. So once you get it out of you, okay, um, don't ever read that book again. Like I'm being serious. There's actually this guy that I know who has what's known as the scariest book ever. And he says, he says he hasn't read it or he's read like parts of it or something like that. And like, I was terrified. I, I think at that point I was like scared to go into his, his apartment because um, when you have like books are somebody else's thoughts or somebody else's, um, vision, words, uh, psyche, 3d, right. Um, you get in like books are getting into other people's heads. Right. And, and like, yeah, they say you can, you, you can escape in a book and you can escape reality in a book. Yes, you can through somebody else's eyes, but how much, like, I don't read. And I think there's a reason why I don't read. I never have. I've been very uncomfortable reading books my whole life. Um, you have to really convince me to read something or I just won't. Um, I've read like two documentaries as an older, you know, woman now and, um, a couple childhood novels, like some RL Steins, I think I read and, and I was trying to get into, um, seeing if I could read again, you know, and like, I couldn't do it. Like I could, I hate, I hate fucking books. Like I love knowledge. I love, um, uh, learning new things, but I'm, I'm a, I'm a hands-on person. I learn by you telling me, I don't learn by reading it. Okay. So something somebody read has really taken them down a really awful path. And you didn't know because you weren't prepared for it. You didn't actually think that something like this could happen. But the thing is, is that I think we all believe it's like, we want to believe in a certain world that we live in, but we have to start opening up to the reality in which we are in. Right. It's totally different. So anyways, um, I hope this resonates. And uh, if it doesn't, don't take anything, obviously. Uh, if it does resonate, I really do feel like um, uh, if you know this book that I'm talking about that you read, um, please burn it. Um, if this, I don't know, I, I don't know what you possibly could have gotten into. But the thing is that I do feel like a full clearing needs to be done. Um, probably Palo Santo. Um, a lot of shadow work has to be done. You have to find this thing. This thing is somewhere and it's hiding in another dimension. Uh, always watch mirrors. Do not look directly in your eyes in a mirror. Okay, mirrors are portals. They can open up doors through your eyes. They can open up doors through another realm. Okay, they are very dangerous. Um, I don't even like scrying. I don't, I don't look at my 
myself in the mirror. Like, like I, honestly, I don't like, I had to look at myself to do my hair today and, and that's it. Like I fucking, I hate mirrors. There's one mirror in my house. That's it. I don't like, I don't like them. I don't need to know how I look. I know how I look. I saw the outfit. I don't need to see what I look like with it on. You know, like I've actually completely forgot about my body until recently I bought new shoes and like I, I saw a full size mirror and I was like, Whoa, that's what I look like. I forgot. You know, like, I don't look at myself because then you become obsessed with how you look. You, you become obsessed with how you, you know, you, you, you reflect the way that you look on how you feel. And that's not the way that it's supposed to be is how you, how you feel is how you're supposed to look. And it's so backwards, you know, mirrors, they fuck with you. So anyways, clearly this thing has been fucking with you. So hope it resonates. Huge clearing, uh, clear, clear out all the, all the closets in your mind. Um, you know, your mind, I, I always see my minds, um, library and I clean it out quite frequently. I have this room. Um, I do not let it get cluttered. I often sweep it. I don't allow, um, I've got like three or four boxes worth of memory. Now I've, I've destroyed all of my memory. I, I really don't, didn't need so many useless facts and so many useless things from school that I never used, but was forced to fucking participate in. So I got a lot of rid of file. Like I got rid of a lot of files. So, you know, see your mind's eye as a huge file maker and, and burn some files and see where some, some things are hiding. You know, they, this thing might be hiding in a memorized copy that you have in your head. How fucked is that? It's not just this dimension. And I'm going to say it a million times. Well, I have to say it every reading. I fucking will. There's like, oh my God, pff, probably 50 dimensions like everywhere to be accounted for. Like everywhere. I'm not talking like just here. I'm talking everywhere. There are hundreds and thousands and millions of portals. There are so many different dimensions. And where those dimensions are, there are planets and and I was going to say subdivisions, there are societies and nationalities and people hiding all over this place. So just remember that we're not the only ones. Okay. We, we never are. If only the world could be that simple and it was just one dimension in us. Right. No. Anyways. Mm -hmm. I like it. Kind of ended really good. So if it resonates, peace out.